Hello, my beautiful Libras. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for why is there no contact? Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you like a person with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, so what are we going to talk about today? So Libras, what we're going to talk about today is, of course, when there's no contact, the most frustrating thing is why are they doing that? So the first thing we're covering is why are they doing that? Um, how do they feel about you? And then it, are they going to contact? Okay, so if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue to do it this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so what's going to happen with uh, what's going on with my Libra's romantic love life for their love interest that is not in communication with them right now? Why are they doing what they're doing? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. I just want to do it one more time, Libra, just so I want to make sure it feels right. Okay, that's good. Okay, so we got the Eight of Pentacles. We got the Nine of Pentacles. We got the Page of Swords. We got the High Priestess. We got the Knight of Wands, okay. We got the Tower. Ten of Wands. Eight of Wands. Seven of Swords. Six of Cups, there's something to do with the past. Family, money, and some kind of apology, wanting to apologize. Okay, so let's go further on this Libra. Okay, so I got the Eight of Pentacles energy. Now, some of you guys may be dealing with somebody who's in school, okay? Or is taking up, taking on another thing that they've been, like, uh, somebody who's taken up some kind of uh, pretty extensive hobby also for some of you guys, okay? For others of you, is this person's just very work-focused at the moment um, and self-focused with the Nine of Pentacles energy. Um, their person is going forward with a new idea with the Page of Swords energy coming out. Could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. I feel like for a lot of you guys, um, let's just go forward. I'm going to clarify just to be sure, okay? Why is Libra's love interest the one they're here for? The one they want to know about. Why is their love interest not in communication with them right now? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. They're also trying to keep some kind of secret from you, okay? Um, with the High Priestess card energy. Now, we do see a person card, but this can represent a mother energy. This can represent uh, something to do with the past. So you may be aware of it already. It also can be like the Queen of Pentacles. Like, what should I do on the long-term basis, okay? We see they're doing some kind of something they've done before in pleasure-seeking. And we see there's like this boss energy. Okay, so they're trying to get some kind of control over this, okay? Something that they did before that you're aware of. So I feel like with the high priestess energy, now it could be a reason there's, it could be a person here that gave them advice, it could be a mother energy to kind of tell them to kind of focus back in on themselves, not people's energy, and to focus on work and finance and their idea that they're working on. That could be the case too, or somebody who's just coming off that way. Why is Libra's love interest, the one they're here for, the one I want to know about, why is Libra's love interest not in communication with Libra right now? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's clarify this. Yeah, there we go. A nurturing friend uh, at work, school. Okay, so friends are influencing family as well. Okay. Then are they trying to make the best decision? Okay. They're keeping some secrets or they want to keep some stuff to themselves about something passionate, a Knight of Wands energy. Now we can see this passionate situation because I feel like a lot of you guys, this person's just, their family, their friends are telling them like, look, 
you got this new idea, this, this situation you got going on with work or this, this uh, independence or this, this idea that you've been working on or maybe you should focus on this hobby that you really wanted to enjoy, go ahead and do that. Just, just you know, spend some time alone and just figure this out. And, uh, and so, but I feel like, uh, you know, they're, they're just wanting to, to, to gain some kind of knowledge and um, go towards their passions there uh, because of this huge shock surprise and they're a little bit overwhelmed with the Ten of Wands energy and it's like, you know, communication wise, they're just like focused on that. They're putting their energy into these burdens, these responsibilities here and wanting to like hide from their thoughts, Seven of Swords energy. Now I can see two different scenarios going on, okay? I feel like in some of you guys' situations, yes, this person is, their family told them like, you know, just focus on work, just work on, on finance, you know, focus on, uh, you know, doing your own thing, Nine of Pentacles energy. But also it seems like this person is also doing something in a passionate realm, all right, or has issues with commitment, also with the Knight of Wands energy, okay? So but clarify, let's clarify to see. We see gaining some kind of knowledge of love, really shocked and surprised about some kind of lack of, of commitment, passionate energy, abrupt actions here towards passions, which cause some big changes here. We see there's people involved in the situation who are trying to give some nurturing support um, and have been talking to them. They have been focused on their burdens and responsibilities and a fresh start, new opportunity, They've been thinking about things very deeply. It seems like they're putting their energy into their money, their finance and work because they don't know where they stand with you. They have a lot of uncertainty. And uh, they are hiding some things or concerns about deceptions and being used or being made a fool of in the commitment. Okay, so I feel like in this case scenario, Libra, I feel like they may have felt that there was some cheating that happened, okay? Um, I'm not saying that's the case for you guys, but there may have been, the family members may have influenced this in some way. Families and friends may have influenced this some way, so they're telling them, well, you know, focus on work, focus on yourself here, because um, it seems like they got some kind of shock and surprised about a situation. Um, and they just don't, they're trying to do some deep, heavy soul searching here, and they have a lot of uncertainty about the commitment here. It does look like they want to reach out to you here with the, conversation card here but it's like they're getting advice to kind of you know give yourself some time to really look at this examine this and make the best decision here because they're definitely being influenced here you can see that by both family and friends and maybe even another person who's trying to be nurturing and supportive to them um, okay so that's pretty clear cut I feel like so let's move into their feelings Okay, so how does Libra's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how does Libra's love interest feel about Libra's romantic? Show me the cards in A2C. Show me the cards I need to three. All right, let's see here, Libra. All right, we got the Nine of Pentacles energy. We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Page of Swords. The King of Wands. The Magician. The Five of Swords. The Sun card. The Death card. Seven of Swords. Okay, again, this person really had some big shock and surprise happen to them. And this caused them to feel like there was a loss and wanting some kind of decision, making a decision or something to a justice. Okay, you see at the central theme though, that this person's like, Libra is my ideal partner. They have everything that I want. And I have strong chemistry and passion with them. I feel like I need some time alone, I need a pentacles energy, 
but on the same token, I want to contact them because you know what? We've grown so much, but I don't want to be naive about this Page of Swords energy. Okay, let's keep going. How does Libra's love interest, the one they're for, the one they want to know about, the one that they're out of communication with, how does this person feel about them romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. I do feel like they really do want to be with you. Okay. And we see again this energy of infringing party there. And may also feel like there's a sigh of relief because it's nurturing a supportive energy. They have a lot of regrets in this pleasure seeking um, and deceptions, fox card energy. They feel defeated and they feel like they won at what cost. And we see that there is, they may even be seeking some kind of professional advice like a counselor or a psychiatrist or something here. Um, maybe getting some kind of help here, okay. How does Libra's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, how does Libra's love interest feel about Libra's romantically? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So you really, you really do make them happy. They want to bring this connection into balance. They do feel like you're a very nurturing, supportive energy to them. They may even see you as somebody they want to start a family with if you don't already have children with this person or you're just coming off somebody is, that's there for them, that does stuff for them, that's just, you know, unlike the Knight of Cups energy, this is more like, you know, um, like a motherly kind of energy. Like they're just, they feel like you're really nurturing, very supportive to them. They have feelings for you with a romance card. They feel like they really, really do want to take control of the situation because they miss you. They feel like there can be happiness between you guys with the sun card energy, but they feel like there's some kind of restrictions or boundaries here. Um, they feel like they really feel like their happiness has ended here with the death card energy, and they want that to change. They don't know how to come forward and be honest with you with the seven of swords energy about the fact that they really appreciate you. They feel like you have value here with the gift card energy. This person feels like there's something to do with people here or going out, maybe spending some time together and having a conversation about the relationship, the soulmate connection, okay? Again, they feel like they can have a, they feel like they're, they're hoping that there's positive energy and happiness around the connection. They do have feelings for you. We see that there's people involved, possibly, more than one person or infringing people involved in the situation, like family or friends, that they want to bring into balance. They do want to make a power move here to have a car to a conversation with you. We see that there's this nurturing, supportive energy or this mother energy is causing them to miss you in the relationship. Okay, so Libra, let's take a look now. So, and also if we go here, they say this pleasure seeking here was some there was some deceptions or some uh, fickle energy because we got the cat card energy in healing and recovery so they might want to heal this and they feel like there were some restrictions and boundaries that they want to change they may want to give to you maybe give you money maybe give you a gift here give you something of value because they they don't know how to face their thoughts or how to come forward here with seven of swords energy they feel like there's this nurturing supportive energy in this sigh of relief and they feel a lot of uh, regrets. Okay, so is Libra's love interest the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, the one they're out of communication with, will they hear from their love connection in the next two months? Will this person contact them in the next two months. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. Oh my goodness, Seven of Swords wants to come out again. Sun card is a yes card. Nine of Cups is a yes card. So it's going to be not on the up and up, but yes, they are definitely yes. 
With your situation, Libra, yes, definitely yes, okay? Uh, but it's not going to be as straightforward, possibly at first. Like still, there's going to be some hiding of thoughts and stuff with the Seven of Swords energy. Um, yes, there's going to be this happy, joyful energy. And yes, you're going to fulfill your desires here. Three of Pentacles is, well, I could talk about, there's, there could be an intermediated person there involved with the Three of Pentacles energy. Also, could talk about there's something deceptive um, here and someone's hiding something about this third party, Three, three of Pentacles energy. Or um, this is going to be happening while you guys are at work, Three of Pentacles energy. Um, also for some of you guys. Okay, so we see that there is yes, it's going to happen because we have the Sun card, which is a very yes. It's a high yes. So, and also the Nine of Cups is a yes. Um, we have the Seven of Swords, of course, is a no, but there's two yeses and only one no. And we see the ending card is the Nine of Cups. So, and we see what's going to happen. Why is that going to happen? Because of work, because of wanting to work together towards a happy home and because of deep love, King of Cups energy. So let's get some more information for you guys, Libra. Can I have some more uh, understanding of Libra's situation that could help them with their love connection that they're out of communication with right now to have for them to better understand what's going on? How many cards need to see? Show me the cards that to see. Be strong in what you want and be careful about the ego, okay? In your desire, listen to your intuition and know that you can accomplish what you want here, but you have choices and things have to be brought into balance and you know what your conditions are, okay? Or know what your conditions are prior to this, okay? All right, my beautiful Libras, I love you guys so much. If you guys liked it, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys 